Hi guys. Okay, today I wanted to animate flag and uh, not an ordinary way. Previously I was uh, I was doing like rotation and uh, offsets on the edges like this and uh, basically just offsetting each uh, child bone. It it's get pretty good. Uh, especially when you offset also the top and bottom part but it uh, doesn't give that final nice 3D look so I decided to make a new thing today I will show you it to you so uh, let's get started I have a, a simple image that I set up manual grid here I did manual grid to get those orange lines they transform the weights I don't know how but when we, when we use smooth they only trans, uh, translate through this orange lines and this blue edge lines so for now I will start uh, making one bone uh, I think like here so I can split it to six smaller bone I already tried it so it worked best they are nested uh, I think it could be a little bit longer. Let me see. Okay, like like this. Ah, it's fine. So yeah, let's bind the mesh to the bones. Now you you may see that spine already did a good job to distribute the weights. But you can see that weights are distributed not as uh, correctly that we would like to have because on the middle point we have all higher values for bones like here it's 100% uh, for this second bone but on the edges it's already fading out. We want this uh, second bone to control this all vertices along the width. So for this we will uh, weight manually and later smooth smooth it using spines amazing feature I really love it I think we all use it every time okay take those let's finally smooth it two times not more let's test it yeah I like the result Okay, so the first thing, um, imagine that uh, we are working with projection and uh, not we are not going to rotate like this. So instead we, will, we need to imagine that the flag moves away from camera and comes to us. First we will move uh, positions of these bones, imagining that they are uh, moving away. So I will start from this bone, since this I want to be in, on, in place. Uh, I can imagine that it is attached to some stick or whatever. So I will move this a little bit closer. Um, let's, let's say 20 points closer, okay, so it will be 80. This one will be a little bit much closer, so let's move it to six points so you may notice that this bone is ex actually pretty closer to this than the first one so it will get closer and closer I think at the end we will have just one over another let me make 40 20 and I believe zero okay oh zero, sorry Yeah, that will work fine. So we have bones moved uh, in projection. So this frame, we will have flag uh, tip of the flag uh, at the farthest point away from the camera, and you you may see that we don't see the result like we would like. But it, it will come when we finally use the scale on the bones. So currently, uh, I would like to copy this on twenty and 40 frames. On 20 we will have the opposite, so the tip of the 
flag will uh, be at the closest point to the camera. But the interesting part that the projection is exactly the same as the farthest point. So I don't know if you familiar with this concept, but if you have questions, I, I will answer them in, in comments. So feel free to ask. Okay, so here again, nothing special, it, it doesn't move. When we add one nice magic, it actually is not magic, it's natural, it's very natural when you understand. So when they are at the farthest and closest points, at the midpoint, they need to get straight, like they are at it, it transition point. So this straight we already have in setup pose. So I will just move this and uh, create that keys from the setup pose, cut them and move those back. Now I just uh, pass them in 10 and 13 frames. I don't need those. Uh, this from this bone, I, I don't need those. Okay, so we have like coming and uh, here we will see at 10 and 13 frames. The flag is at the midpoint. This is exactly the middle point. So uh, the farthest point from camera at zero comes to middle point and then 20 it's the closest point. Again, we don't see anything in 3D space uh, up until we use scale. So let's do it. Let's make the scale of, uh, again, gradually increasing. So this one, uh, okay, the, this will be decreasing now so this one will be for example let's make it 0 0.95 0 0.95 and the next one I will reduce by 0 0.05 each okay so 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.85 So you already may notice that something happens in 3D space. I, I really believe that we will eventually end up with pretty nice result. Um, I believe so. Because it, it should work, it's, it's just simple math. Uh, okay, so at uh, 20 frame, okay, you can see that this is the high point and the tip of the flag is already scaled uh, down at the, its, its highest point, so its farthest and smallest um, state at the 20 frame, it will be opposite. So let's again start from here and we start gradually increasing 1.05, um, 1.05, 1. 1.1 Again, those numbers are uh, just custom, so you can work with your own numbers. It's important that you increase or decrease them as you go through the hierarchy. But uh, what number you use it totally on you, so it, it can enhance the effect of the waviness or whatever. You need to experiment on yourself. I, I got these numbers working very good for me. Okay, so this is the farthest point, this is the closest point. We can see that we, we, we are having some interesting more animation here. I, I just don't like this broken effect I think I need to adjust this edge vertices so it I think it, it can be wrong like here okay so this would work fine okay, now we have smooth flat okay so the last thing uh, we can do just just offset everything by four frame I think would be enough and the next would be 8 frame, so double the 4 and next would be the 12 and 16 and 
the last will be 20. Okay, so very nice wavy motion in 3D. I do really miss some other motions here, like it's it looks like paper, it, it doesn't look like clothes, so it can a little bit collapse at the end. But those effects can be additional added over this basic foundation. Also, I would like to have some uh, lighting here. I think I know how to achieve it. So at this point, this uh, part would be the lightest. I think that would be very good effect and I think it will be final. So for this uh, I will end this video. If you have any questions feel free to ask in comments. I, I really like uh, sharing any information I got uh, with my students. So see you next time.